Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to be investigating render layers in Blender. So you can see uh, I'm back with this house scene again. Yeah, I'm reusing it again. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. You can apply this to any scene with multiple objects. Um, I personally use it to speed up renders where I have something very detailed that I want rendered at a high resolution or high sample rate in cycles. And then let's just say the foreground of the Ogle News. I render that at a lower sample, um, which renders much quicker. And so I, you know, get it to render faster. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use this render layer uh, stuff built into Blender. So the first thing that you want to do is you can see we're in the render layer uh, tab up here. And you can see we've got one render layer there. So uh, what we want to do is we want to move these two different objects, uh, which we're going to have in two different render layers, into different actual physical layers. So we're going to take this uh, background plane. I'm going to press M and then we're going to click on this or press 2 and that will move it into that render or that uh, layer. If we just shift, uh, we can select both of them so that we can see them both at once. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click this little plus here. We're just going to call this house and we're going to call this one ground so that we can have two different render layers there. If we click house, uh, we're going to be using this one, and we wanted to just use uh, this first layer for rendering the house. So we're going to just click that, and that's going to say everything is excluded except for this first layer. Now if we go to the ground, uh, we can see this is on the second one. So if we click that, now the house and the ground are like that. If we uh, we can say which ones we want to be rendered. So if I just want the house rendered, if I hit F12, you can see only the house is being rendered, even though you can see here I've got both layers selected. I can select both of them, and it's actually going to render them one at a time. First it's going to do the house, and then it's going to do the ground. And there may be some uh, tricking that we need to do with it. And uh, you, here you can also see the shadows uh, were also cast properly onto this ground so you don't lose your shadows. Uh, the lighting effects are still there. Just you have uh, different layers. So let's just wait for this to render. Okay, so it's not quite how we thought it was going to be. So you can see here it's set to house and we can uh, quickly toggle that to ground and back again. However, we want a complete scene so uh, let's do that. Let's press escape. And we're going to drag over this little corner here, splitting our view in half. I'm going to select this. I'm going to click node editor. Um, sorry if I'm going a little bit fast here, but there's not much that we really need to discuss with it. I'm going to click on the uh, kind of what looks like the same icon as the render layer icon. And then uh, we're just going to let's see, just press N to hide that. We're going to click Use Nodes, and bang, you can see that we've got our render layer appearing here. However, that's only one of the render layers. You can see uh, it's also got the ground there. Uh, and let's just pull up a viewer, so we're just going to do Shift-A, and then uh, we're just going to look for a viewer like that. That way we can pull in our image and have it appear in the background. Uh, if we enable backdrop, there we go. So now we've got uh, our scene uh, in the background there. I'm just going to scooch that way over. So we've got our nodes in the front, and then we've got our scene back there. Uh, we can also drag over and see alpha, and uh, also pipe that to the output image from the compositor. Um, and that's what we've got there. However, what we need is a second one of these, so we're just going to do shift D to duplicate it. And we're just going to select ground, and you can see uh, ground looks like that. So now that we've got our stuff here, uh, we're just going to disconnect everything for now. Um, let's do Shift A, 
and then we're going to go to color and then we're going to do z combine and so that's going to combine uh the different images so let's grab this image stick that into the first one this image stick it into that one z will go in there z will go in there and then from our image, we can pipe that to the output, and you can see uh, there's our completed image. Um, you can also do a bunch of different uh, image effects on these uh, different images and the Z uh, depth. However, I'm not really going to be investigating that too much, so uh, not too worried about that, but you can feel free to explore and check that out by yourself. But you can see there, we've got our images combined. So if we just do a quick re-render. You can see it's rendering this layer first, and then uh, it's going to render the ground plane. Um, and this can be useful for a number of different things. Like if you've got really complex geometry in one part of the scene, and this can be pretty useful um, in a number of different scenarios, um, I mentioned one earlier with the uh, different quality where I was actually able to composite in the background uh, layer. But uh, you can also easily enable and disable these uh, for your render. If you didn't want some to render, uh, you can do that. So yeah, there's a number of different uses for it, and uh, you can... Definitely experiment with it and check out what you want to do uh, with it and see if it works for you. Um, it may not work in all situations for everything that you're looking to do, but it may be worth checking out if you're doing some long renders with some complex parts and some really simple parts that are moving, let's just say. So I hope you found this useful, and if you did, maybe consider subscribing to the channel and if you are also interested, I have a playlist for the Blender uh, tips that I've been doing at the end of the video. And you can also check out the last video that I did on the Blender tips. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>